This is the plant cleavers. This is a plant that is known by many names, but perhaps one of the more funnier names would be Sticky Willy, as it definitely has a stickiness to it. Now, technically, now this specific species of cleavers is Gallium aparine. There are actually 250 species of Gallium throughout the world, with 75 of those species being in North America. And as I mentioned, this one is by far the most common. This is truly an historic plant. I'm going to have to try to stay in the sun here. The shade doesn't want to agree. <laughs> anyway, this was once used as bedding material. Hence, another nickname it has called bed straw. Let's see if I can, there we go. Choose this one here. No, we have another plant stuck to it. That's one of the problems with this. It sticks to everything. Okay, hang on here. There we go. Perfect. Now the stems used to be fashioned into mats that would serve as a sieve throughout or through which milk would be filtered through and infused with the health giving properties of this plant. This was more common, I believe in Sweden and in some places today, this still happens. Now this is a very scrambling uh, <laughs> kind of plant. You can see how it's just mashed itself into it itself here and it's sticking really well. It's often considered a nuisance if it grows in a garden because it's going to stick to anything and everything else, including whatever is around. <laughs> so if you're planning on growing, growing this in the garden, beware of that. Okay. Now, this is a plant that has been used by First Nations to promote kidney health. In traditional Chinese medicine, this was used as an anti-inflammatory and to move stagnation with a strong affiliation for the lymphatic system. And of course, this is known to be quite, a, quite an effective diuretic. This is definitely one of the best cleansing tonics that helps to purify blood. The lymphatic system, including the spleen, thymus, throat, and mammary glands and kidneys, they all benefit from this plant. Now this is incredibly powerful. And I'm going to share a personal story of my, one of my situations with this. I was working on Manitoulin Island a couple of years ago. The night before I left, I had an accident. I was in a forest with my son and I was looking at a tree and I was just grabbed it like this. It was about actually a little thicker than this. And I thought, oh, what's this tree? And then I realized, oh, it's dead. Right away, I heard a big crack and it came barreling down on my foot. I tried to get out of the way, but I wasn't fast enough. Actually, this is probably about as thick as it was. So my foot was black and blue and it was badly swollen. You can see how it's just flattened here. Anyway, I had to drive up to where I was going on Manitoulin Island, which is a, a, I think it was about a two and a half hour drive. And when I got there, I was doing some photography work first. And I was in the car ready to leave and something compelled me to go to an area that I wasn't in. So I did. And it was very reminiscent 
of what a First Nations elder told me, Raphael Moses. He used to tell me when there was something wrong with us, a certain plant will call to us, and it's the plant that we need to help with whatever it is our problem is. And this is what I found, patches and patches of cleavers. And then I thought, wow, that's right, it purifies blood. I guess I could use that right now, considering how black and blue my foot is. For 48 hours, this is all I drank, was cleaver juice, cleaver tea. And after that 48 hours, I had no more bruising and no more inflammation. It was absolutely wonderful. And my foot was literally black and blue. So this is one of my favorite plants, obviously. Anyway, I got a little uh, diverted there. This is also very useful in the recovery from many types of infections, even for horses and other health for milking cows. High in vitamin C and it's rich in minerals and especially silica. And we need that for our nails, our hair and our teeth. It also has a very high concentration of chlorophyll, vitamin A, vitamin E, vitamin C, and vitamin K. And it's all around here. Easy to identify. You've got those leaves that are whirled around the stem. And the stem is square, which actually on this particular, yep, it's perfectly square. I wish you could feel this right now. It's amazing. Now the square stem is indicative of plants that are in the mint family. So this is a little odd because this is in the mater family. Cleavers. Add this to your daily diet. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for your support. I truly appreciate it, everybody. If you're a subscriber, thank you, thank you, thank you from the bottom of my heart. And if you're not a subscriber, please consider subscribing. As an FYI, I used to monetize my videos, but I don't do that anymore because I find more often than not, ads are annoying. So I truly want you to be able to enjoy my videos ad-free.